Hey guys, this is MTP Flyers, and I'm pretty excited to show you this new product uh, from a company by the name of Kiyoki. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I have been tweeting a lot about this product, and the claim is the perfect fit applicator. And the whole idea is this, uh, as you guys know, I am the worst at putting on screen shields. So, and here it is. So, what is this? Oh, cool, Starbucks gift card. Pretty sweet. That's awesome. Ten dollars. Giddy up. Cool. So here it is, guys. This is the Screen Care Pro. Uh, this particular version is for my iPhone 4. And a crystal clear install. They have other kinds, as a matter of fact. Uh, as I have right here next to me. They have uh, anti-glare, uh, the crystal clear, uh, different packs to refill it. And I know what you're thinking. Let's just they try it out. They give you three optical grade screen protectors, a microfiber tail, and scratch one squeegee free. or scratch resistant. So here's the screen fi the microfiber, and we're gonna clean that off. Now my biggest thing here is just the dust. I have a dog, the hair, the whole nine. So we're gonna follow the instructions as they are such. And there's your screen applicator. And here's the screen guards that come with it. Now. They gave me a couple extra screen shields here along with the card, so thank you guys very, very much. I hope this will finish me screwing up my screen shield installs. <laughs> so here's the directions. It's real simple. Clean your phone with the microfiber. Gently peel off the part one and presley firm down into the frame. And then slowly remove the phone from the applicator and then use the squeegee to push out the air bubbles. That's it, it does have a little lip that it sits inside here to keep it lined up. Now one of the things that I really like about particular screen shields um, from companies, if they cut them a little short on the sides so you can put a case on it or something like that so it doesn't lift up. So let's test this so and see exactly what we have. And we'll follow the instructions by taking off part one, which is the back of the device, on the screen shield that is. And put that aside. We're going to clean it off and you'll see as we install this, you're going to put it in device in there. You're going to push it down. There it is. It's in. Right? And then when you are done, you're going to push on the back here. I would guess you can put your fingers through to push that off. Oop. It is pushing off there a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll push through the device here. There we go to keep that on. And the stickies have fallen off. Alright, I'm going to stop the video right there, guys, because it just goes from bad to worse. Now, I can't knock Kiyoki uh, for what's about to happen, but uh, the screen is lined up here. Everything is perfect. Unfortunately, I managed to get a ton of whatever underneath. So, I managed to take it off, and I started working on it. As you can see here, I have the uh, dirt and whatever. It's got to be something from the microfiber. So I take off the screen here, and everything, again, is lined up perfectly. Kiyoki did the job. Unfortunately, you can see, I have no idea how that happened. Now, that completely ruined it. So, take number two. <laughs> we line everything up in the applicator here. Applicator, that's such a horrible word, isn't it? We put the phone in, and uh, we snap everything in. Remember to push it down for the five seconds. So this time, I was a little more careful, and I actually placed the device on the desk, pushed it up at the same time, and everything went out well. Unfortunately, it didn't line up worth a dang. As you can see here, the front-facing camera is horrible. Therefore, it's pushing up on the top, and that is going to, what? Not line up properly. And you see down here at the bottom, the home button not lined up, and to the right. And we can just simply flick up the screen shield. Not good. So Mikey's a little frustrated at this point. And I try something I don't suggest to anyone. I took off the stickies. Not a good turnout. I don't suggest anyone do this because Kiyoki does not suggest doing this. <laughs> trying to line it up, trying to keep the screen shield uh, straight, uh, trying not to stick my fingers on the sticky part of the screen shield. Not a good idea. Now, you didn't see here, I actually dropped this and it went right back down again. We're not going to show that. <laughs> so, I try to put this on here. Not going very, very well. So, I slide it on and uh, drop it in. Do the same thing that you're supposed to do. 
And uh, I chat a little bit here, you know, talking about how much I like the applicator. I think it's a great idea. Hey, it comes off great. Unfortunately, you can see at the very top there. And no, not good at all. So I trick myself in thinking, oh, yeah, 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 this is going to work. Mm, no, 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 nope. Not a good idea. Again, cannot knock Kiyoki for this. This is not their fault. Not anything that they did. So, without further ado, we're just going to head and move on to the last time. And uh, we put the stickies back on the phone. Uh-oh. Sticky back on the... Oh, no. What's going to happen? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It, oh, looks like all the bubbles are coming out. <laughs> I know that this dramatization here we have going on here, but I take the top protection off after I work on it a little bit. Everything is lined up beautifully. It's satted, it's satted, it's seated perfectly, except for my little hair up there in the top right corner. Uh, the button, home button down at the bottom is perfect, almost, almost perfect, and the dirty button right down there, that's not their fault. And you take a little closer look at my button that needs to be cleaned down here, you can see it's almost perfect. And uh, we take uh, some additional shots here to show you guys. The uh, speaker lines up pretty well at the top there. Uh, I didn't get a great shot of the front-facing camera, but that's lined up just as well. And uh, I went a step further, took the hair out from underneath, which I don't suggest you doing after the fact. But we even threw a case on here. The in-case slider case worked out perfect. Cannot complain. I took a couple more shots here. No lifting at all. I've used it for about a day or so, and uh, still perfect. Hey, you know, there's a good shot of the front of the uh, front-facing camera. So, guys, I cannot knock the product for my stupidity. Uh, you got to give them their props. It's a great concept. It's a great idea, and uh, I think they did a heck of a job with it. And uh, you know, with the exception of my stupidity, trying to uh, line it up better and uh, not get the hair underneath of it. You know, that's just your environment as far as keeping that clean, and that's on me. Um, you know, the first time it lined up great, second time not so much. Um, I've watched it over and over again as I'm setting up to do the commentary here. I'm not sure exactly what I did wrong. But anyway, what I really want to talk about now, real quick, before I let you go, is the Kiyoki website. And here we have the Kiyoki website. You can see the items are on order for pre-release. Uh, this is for the iPhone 4. They got clear, matte, privacy, and mirror that's going to be coming out. And uh, again, release mid-January. The other products that they're, they already have uh, are the iPhone 3, which again will be released. I believe the iPhone 3 is going to be coming out uh, in February. I think that's a little later. That might actually, you know what, no, that is coming out in Feb in at the same time as the, uh, as the iPhone 4. Now they do have them for the iPod Touch. And those are going to be released mid-March, uh, 4G, of course. They don't have them up on the website. And what I look forward to is the iPad. Again, they don't have it on the website, but those are due to also come out in mid-March. Uh, one other important thing I wanted to discuss uh, real quick about the Kiyoki uh, company themselves. They are on Kickstarter.com. And what they're looking to do is uh, raise enough money to allow them to continue to basically develop the company. This is a startup company. Uh, as you can see down here, you can learn about the project. Uh, they were offered to be bought out. They decided to stay on. However, they do need to, grant, uh, to raise $15,000 uh, to keep up with the market and uh, keep everything going. So uh, in order to do that, you know, you can pledge some money and you can see down here the different options that you have for pledging. And uh, they go all the way up to pledging $10,000. Anyone for $10,000? Not me. But uh, I will kick in uh, probably like 50 or 100 bucks. But the nice thing is when you kick in that money, you're receiving some of the products that they do sell. And uh, you get, uh, you know, a fair share back to you where you are actually saving some money. And you're helping the company. So there you go, guys. Uh, Kiyoki, great product. Michael, not a great installer. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to talk to them at CES, uh, let them know my, my ins and outs and exactly what I thought. But uh, so far, I'm happy with the product. Uh, one other thing, uh, you can also buy uh, repacks and stuff like that, so you don't have to buy the applicator every time uh, when you're doing that. So, Kiyoki, thank you guys very much. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. See ya!